In the last video, we learned how to find what I like to call the easiest common denominator. And personally, I prefer to use that method of getting a common denominator whenever I can, because it's quick and easy to remember. But I can think of at least two cases where it would be better to use a different method to convert unlike fractions into like fractions. The first case is when one of the fraction's bottom numbers is a multiple of the other fraction's bottom number. And the second case is when your teacher says that you have to use this other method. This new method is called finding the least common denominator because it involves using the smallest common denominator we can find instead of just using the product of the bottom numbers like we did in the first method. To find the smallest or least common denominator of two fractions, we need to figure out what the smallest or least common multiple of the two bottom numbers is. Now, in case you've forgotten, a multiple of a number is just the result of multiplying it by another whole number, like one, two, or three. So here's what we're gonna do to find the least common denominator, or LCD for short. First, we'll take the two different bottom numbers and start making multiples of each of them. We start with one times the numbers, and then two times, and then three times, and four times, and so on. It helps to arrange these multiples in a small table, almost like a scoreboard, so that you can keep things organized and easy to find. We'll stop making multiples as soon as we find an answer that's the same for both numbers. That answer is called the least common multiple, and it will become our new common denominator. Once we know what the least common denominator is, we have to figure out which whole fractions we'll need to multiply our unlike fractions by to get equivalent fractions with that common denominator. The solution is to use the same numbers that resulted in the common multiple. For example, if you multiplied by 4 to get the common multiple for the first unlike fraction, then you'll use 4 over 4 as your whole fraction. And if you multiplied by 3 to get the common multiple for the second unlike fraction, then you'll use 3 over 3 as your whole fraction for it. Have I lost you yet? Should make a lot more sense after you've seen a few examples. Let's start with this problem. 3 over 8 plus 5 over 24. Step 1 is to take our two bottom numbers and make multiples of them to see if we can find a common multiple. First, let's multiply them both by 1. Well, that's easy. We have 8 and 24. Next, we multiply them both by 2. And that gives us 16 and 48. I still don't see anything in common, so let's multiply them both by 3. 3 times 8 is 24, and 3 times 24 is 72. But look, we have something in common now. We have a 24 in each column. We have found the least common multiple of the numbers 8 and 24, and it happens to be 24. And that makes sense if you remember your multiplication tables, that 3 times 8 equals 24. So now we know we're going to use 24 as our common denominator. But what whole fractions do we need to get it? The answer lies in our multiples chart. To get our common multiple, we had to multiply our 8 by 3, so we're going to use the whole fraction 3 over 3 for our first fraction. And our common multiple for 24 was just itself. We multiplied by 1, so we could use the whole fraction 1 over 1, but we really don't need to since multiplying by 1 won't change anything. We already have the denominator of 24 on that side, so we don't need to change it. Okay, now we multiply. On top, 3 times 3 gives us 9. And on the bottom, 8 times 3 gives us 24, just like we wanted. Now we have like fractions, and we can use our simple procedure to add them. We add the top numbers, 9 plus 5 equals 14, and we keep the same bottom number, 24. Okay, ready for one more example? Let's find the LCD for these fractions, 2 over 9 and 7 over 12. Again, let's start by making a list of multiples for our two bottom numbers to look for a common multiple. 9 times 1 is 9, and 12 times 1 is 12, of course. 9 times 2 is 18, and 12 times 2 is 24. 9 times 3 is 27, and 12 times 3 is 36. 9 times 4 is 36, uh, aha, we found it. 36 is the least common multiple of 9 and 12, so we'll use that as our common denominator. Now let's figure out which whole fractions we need to use to make our fractions have that denominator. We use 4 over 4 for our first unlike fraction, since 4 times 9 was 36. And we use 3 over 3 for our second unlike fraction, because 3 times 12 was 36. There. Now when we multiply, we get two new but equivalent fractions that have a common denominator. Now we can add them with our simple procedure. On the top, 8 plus 21 equals 29, and we keep the same bottom number, 36. 
so that's how you use the least common denominator method. And it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it. So don't forget to do the exercises for this video, because the way to really learn math is to do it. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Learn more at mathantics.com.